and today we're going to talk about the five things I like about the Lexus IS300H and these are going to be primarily like design features and cool things you may have not noticed in the Lexus IS so stay tuned for this video. So the first thing I'd like to point out is the Lexus badge is just more than a badge it actually hides the adaptive cruise control and the safety gear so instead of having something popping out or a bit more bulbous down below it's all integrated into the badge if we move around to the side of the car, the second thing is this little bit of plastic just beside the wing mirror. That creates a vortice, so when the air is coming through, these little vortices are <laughs> created and generated to make the car up more, more slip through the air, easily a bit more aerodynamic, and they are in the tail lights as well. The third thing I like is the everything Lexus finishes off in the hybrid models are finished in blue. If we sit here, you can see the Lexus logo itself is finished in blue, and the 300H in the model is finished in blue as well. If you get a standard well, 2 litre turbo, it would just be all in this kind of silver trim here. Also, like the gadgets in this car. My third favourite design feature are the, what Lexus do with the embossed onto the floor mat. So, if you get a Lexus IS or an ES or an LC, etc., work your way through the range, it will give you the model designation imprinted into the carpet. It's just something that's pretty bit cool. I've never seen that before. So, this little button down here is also quite a cool feature. You slide that up and that pumps the sound of a different Lexus through. The car, I presume it's a Lexus, it's a six-cylinder kind of sound. Turn it off and the car's completely silent. So it's something you don't see every day. In addition, the Lexus clock is one of my stables, as I quite like the sleek design of it, and I think it's quite a nice timepiece, and you don't always get to see an analog clock in modern cars. I like, also like the fact that upon startup, it's completely silent. Just due to the hybrid nature, I know the aircon's going off, but you're not really getting any impact from the petrol engine into the cabin. My fifth and most favourite thing are the fact that these little strips here control the temperature, so you can tap it up to increase the temperature, or you can literally slide your finger up and down like that, so they're touch sensitive. And I think that's a really cool design feature you don't get to see in every car. So just want to say thanks very much for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed these kind of design quirks on the Lexus IS 300H. Um, please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel below for more car content and check us out on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, all at Cars of Glasgow. I'll be uploading some photos of cool cars I see throughout the week on these other media outlets. And as I said, I'm always going to try and get a video at least once a week onto this channel, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!